Hey everyone, this is the Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Today's topic is about dealing with anger in sobriety. I wanna share some things that I do in my daily life that helps me deal with anger. Did you know about 95% of people that come in to 12-step programs have anger issues? The, the percentage of people with anger issues in 12-step programs is off the charts. It really, really is. The first thing I do when I get angry, most of the time, most of the time, I hit the pause button. I do not react to the person, place, or thing. I really don't. I hit the pause button. Something you tell a small child, take a time out. Do not react. Take a time out. Go sit on the stairs like a little kid. You know, people used to walk up to me and say, Jesus, Terry, why are you so angry? I used to react to everything. I was reacting to everything that pissed me off or things that were making me feel bad. I was always reacting. People used to walk up to me, you need to be on medication. It was out of control. So somebody walked up to me in a 12 step program and said, you know, Terry, hit the pause button. Take a time out. It's one of the hardest things to do when we're in a situation. It really is, but you can do it. It's really, really effective. The second thing is, is once you've hit the pause button and given yourself enough time to settle down, you can start to think about what exactly is going on. Is it really that important that I need to shoot my mouth off or go back to that person, place or thing and vet my anger to them? or be assertive to them? Is it really that important? You may find that it's really not that important. Or if it is important, at least you'll have the proper feeling or the proper view of what's going on. It won't be out of control. So after taking a time out, take some time to think about it. You can talk to your sponsor. You can pray a little bit. You can go to a 12 step meeting. You can meditate, but do not react to the anger when you are feeling angry if it makes any sense just try and slow it down and think about what you're doing okay it's really really important anger itself is a secondary emotion we're really most of the time we're really not angry you know why was i angry when i came in a 12-step program is because i felt like a victim my life was garbage i let a lot of people down i let myself down i had bad credit i was unemployable i had some valid reasons to be angry at the world. I really did. I had justifiable, valid reasons. But those reasons destroyed my life because I kept reliving them. So a lot of times, what was going on when I was angry wasn't really what was going on. So taking a time out and thinking about it is really, really important, okay? It really, really is. And the third tip is, you know, most people in 12-step programs are passive aggressive. You know, people say and do things to us, we kind of shrug it off, not a big deal, no problem, fuck them, whatever it may be, but we shrug it off and we deny ourselves the way we feel at that time. And that, my friends, is really a big no-no. To suppress our emotions is a no-no, it really is. To learn to express our emotions constructively is where we should be. So learning that, we take baby steps, but suppressing it, no wonder you're flying off. No wonder you have anger issues because you never identify what is going on and deal with it. So it bottles up. So the postman or the person at McDonald's or Tim Hortons, wherever it may be, gets the blunt of your anger because you don't deal with it. You don't talk about the way you feel and you don't deal with what's going on. So after, like tip number two, after you know what's going on, you can choose what to do with your emotion. You can either go back to the situation and talk to that person the way they made you feel. You can talk to your sponsor and your sponsor can be, you know, your venting machine, your venting person, and you can sort it out what to do. Or you can pray it away. Or you may find that the event that happened that made you angry is not that important, so you can just let it go. Just let it go. <sighs> let it go, okay? But do not suppress your emotions. Don't do that. Don't hold on to them and carry a grudge. Don't do that. Another thing you can do in 12-step programs, you can pray for the other person 
place or thing. That's a really effective way of getting rid of negative emotions that happen on a daily basis. I do that a lot. I give it over to a higher power of my understanding. I try not to carry it. I try not to carry negative emotion with me around. It brings me down, it makes me depressed. So suppression of emotions is not good. Stop being passive aggressive. And the last thing I want to share with you that the way I look at anger now, anger to me is an emotion of change. It really is. When I get mad or I get angry, that emotion is telling me something ain't right with me. Something needs to change. So I look at anger in a positive way. I look at it as a constructive emotion that helps me in life. Doesn't hinder me or cause me difficulties. All emotions are just emotions. There's no real bad emotions and there's no real good emotions. We just put titles on them. Anger is no different than feeling happy. It's how we handle it. And that's the last thing I wanna share with you. We need to express our anger constructively. I wanna let you know that these videos that I make on my channel are just my opinions and the way I see the 12 step programs. You know, I have a great life. I've been sober for 25 years now. I've worked my ass off when it comes to anger. If you find this video helpful, leave a comment below. If you didn't find it helpful, leave a comment below. But I wanna let you know that you're no longer alone and continue to reach out, continue to go to meetings. It's a one day at a time program. You will get where you're going. Sobriety itself can be a very, very lonely place at times, but you're worth it. You really, really are. Okay, if you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I appreciate it. If there's anything that you want me to talk about when it comes to 12 steps or recovery life, leave a comment below and I'll do a video on it. I really will. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows and I'll see you next time. And thanks for stopping by.